I love a good convertible. They're fun to drive. They give you that open-aired sense of freedom and, you know, they kind of make you look cool as well. But there is a downside. Most of them are two seats and they have barely any storage at all. Seven seats, a big boot, and it's fun to drive. The all-new Santa Fe also debuts a new styling direction for the brand, but it doesn't quite meet the brief for a convertible lifestyle. Well, that is until now. This right here is the all-new Hyundai Santa Fe Cabriolet. It is your first global exclusive look at Hyundai's brand new convertible. It blends the practicality of an SUV and then brings in ultra-modern styling. This isn't the cabriolet you'll take on a first date, it's the cabriolet you'll use to drive down the coast with the family or the kids' soccer team. Up the front, it's very much a standard Santa Fe, but we get to this point and this is where things start changing. So you can see it's fully functional, it works just like a normal Santa Fe would with opening and closing doors, but it has no roof. And if you peek inside the cabin here, you can see the practicality element. This is seven seats of convertible luxury. Hyundai has really gone to a lot of effort here to make this car look stylish. And these elegant lines flow all the way through to the back. Have a look at this. They've really given this rear quite a premium European feel. And this wouldn't be out of place on the streets of Monaco or even Nice. And have a look at this. They've integrated this shark fin aerial. Gives the car quite a masculine feel. Let's have a look inside the cabin. I'm keen to see whether this still feels like a normal Santa Fe. The third row is the Santa Fe Cabriolet's point of difference. Look at this, you can easily fit two adults there and you have your own air conditioning controls as well. And if you step forward here to the second row, it gets even more practical with a reclining seat, a center armrest, plenty of legroom, USB charging, and these blinds that attach to the windows when they're up. So it is an incredibly versatile space. Hyundai has carried over the all-new interior debuted with the new Santa Fe, and it looks fantastic. So you can see here, you've got soft touch materials on the dashboard, these beautiful seats with diamond quilt stitching, and then also the cabriolet picks up heated steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats, so it really is an all-environment car. You have plenty of creature comforts here as well, including a mobile phone charger, wireless, so you just whack that down the front there, begins charging. You have cup holders, plenty of storage as well, and then you have safety features aplenty. So, head of the driver is a heads-up display. We have a lane departure warning, and then a big LCD in front of the driver that has all the car's critical information. If you love music, you're going to love the Infinity sound system that comes standard with this car, including this eight inch infotainment display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus inbuilt navigation. You've also got a system that allows you to connect remotely using your phone. So this really is an all purpose car, but curiously, they've accidentally left in a sunroof control. Just because this is a family car, it doesn't mean you need a compromise on performance and efficiency. Under the bonnet is a lively 2.2 litre diesel engine that produces 147 kilowatts of power and 440 newton metres of torque, sending power to all four wheels. Fuel consumption is a miserly 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres, and Hyundai is also toying with the idea of using the turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine from the i30N, but doesn't want to go overboard with performance. Best thing about open-top cars is sharing them. And in this thing, unlike any other convertible in the world, you can share it with six of your mates. Hyundai has also patented a really cool technology. This windscreen effectively stops buffeting in all three rows, which means you can chat to everyone, including your mate there in the third row. How's things, Adam? Well, in theory anyway. Hyundai's done a local ride and handling tune for Santa Fe Cabriolet right here in Australia, and it definitely shows because it soaks up bumps beautifully, and the handling is still pretty good, despite the fact it's missing a roof. The engine's incredibly responsive too, so this new eight-speed automatic gives you that get up and go, and there's plenty of torque from that diesel engine with 440 newton meters of torque on tap. Now you may be wanting something with a bit more power here, but you really don't need it. And there's no intrusive noises from that diesel engine either. You can barely hear it as you're running along. And with this patented technology that they've got, just nothing comes into the cabin. It's quite a serene environment. If you do want to ditch your mates and go for a spirited drive, stick it into sport mode and find some corners. And the Santa Fe Cabriolet is surprisingly good. You can really stick it into some of these corners and it sticks like glue. They have done an incredible job here putting an end flavour into this chassis. Where's the roof? Well, there isn't one. This is designed to be a non-all-weather car. 
It's also not ideal to take through car washes. And it's not for ski resorts either or other cold places. And it can't be driven near lightning. But apart from that, it's extremely practical. So visibility out the front, sides and rear is really good. But what about parking? If you can't be bothered doing head checks and stuff, well, Hyundai has you sorted. This car also comes with a self-parking feature. So we just line up next to our parking space, whack it in reverse, and away it goes. You are self-parking, hands-free, your Santa Fe Cabriolet. <laughs> Look at this, this is fantastic. And so there we go, put it back into drive, and then it completes the park. Piece of cake, so there you go. The Santa Fe Cabriolet not only looks good, but is entirely practical as well. Uh, I haven't been entirely honest with you guys. This isn't legit. Well, the car is legit, but it isn't actually a car that's going into production. The Santa Fe Cabriolet is actually a car that's being used by Hyundai for their advertising campaign for this car. And what a lot of manufacturers will do is chop a roof off so you can get detailed interior shots, or in this case, shots of people in each row of the car. This is a pre-production car that was going to be crushed anyway. So we thought it'd be cool fun to take it for a drive and see how it stacks up as a seven seat SUV convertible. I actually reckon it's a pretty cool idea if you could get the whole structure and stuff right. Let us know what you think. Let us know what engine you would put under the bonnet of a seven seat convertible SUV as well. Uh, in the interim though, head to caradvice.com and don't forget to subscribe.